All right, hi everyone. Welcome to Kenshi. I'm going to try to play this game. It reminds me of RimWorld. I'm going to say a 3D RimWorld. That's not accurate. But it helps being a RimWorld player because I've heard about how difficult this game is. And I did about 15 minutes of playing and I didn't die. There was that. And it's just interesting the different things you can do. You have more control over your characters than you do in RimWorld because it's squad based and it's it's really cool. I you know, I've been looking at this game for months. I, I think it's been around for years. It's now at 1.0. But uh, I think it was early access a long time before that. And it is a it is not a perfect game. It has all kind of physics issues that I'm sure you'll see here. But the concept is just so cool that it's a struggle for survival. And, uh, you know, it's a survival game uh, in the desert. And, you know, I like Long Dark and I like RimWorld. So I figured I'd give this a try and see. Uh, I'm going to create a new game. I'm going to do the default start, which is just a wanderer, one person with a thousand cash. And in the advanced options here, I am going higher number means it takes longer to get hungry. I don't want too much of a grind. I'm lowering chance of death. I'm raising the hunger time so I don't get so hungry so quick. Leaving everything else the same. Yeah. I'm not turning off bandits loot player because that's fine. And uh, let's go ahead and begin. And I, I'm hoping the startup is the same place as my little sample playthrough because I discovered something that was quite cool and I ended up getting some nice loot at the very beginning because, um, you know, you have to be a scavenger in this game to get ahead. And I am going to link um, in the description uh, some of the tutorials I watched. There's a couple of uh, smaller channels that have done, I think, some excellent tutorials that really helped me out. And uh, we're going to be a male Greenlander, and we're going to reset all the numbers. Can I reset? Randomize? Reset? Yeah, let's reset all the numbers. And uh, idle stance. I love this. No, not the hand. Yeah, folded arms. Dude, what are you doing? And uh, skin tone's going to be a little darker, if not kind of greenish. That's just the way it goes. And posture is going to be a little a little hunched over because I'm going to be older. And uh, I think that's about all I did. Uh, face. I forget what face I chose. This one, the darker face. And what else did I do here? Did I set the eye size? Um, reset. Oh, that resets everything. Okay, back back so there's this and there is posture that was the other one I changed bear with me there a little hunched over and uh, the face was this one with the darker eyes and did I set the I mean it, I don't think it really matters let's just get to the hair the brightness is bright the color doesn't really matter we'll pick this uh, not green. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because we go saturation zero, so we have gray hair. And then the beard, there's a beard up in here that just basically is scruffle. Is this it? Was this it? 11? I think 11 was it. Yeah, I like that. It's just basically scruffle. Right, now I remember what I did. Lips. Lip, 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 lip. Where the heck is lips? Oh, it's mouth size? Yeah, smaller lips. This is all critical stuff because we're going to constantly be looking close up at my face. We are not going to be constantly looking at my face. And I don't want an anime haircut. I, long hair is kind of neat. Rough pony. Long and crappy. I like it. Uh, slimy. Hobo. I like that haircut. Yeah, there we go. All right, and I got to set a name, and it'll be uh, Tola. Four-letter names are uh, seem to be big here. And let's confirm and get going. I'm in. All right. 
So let's see, let's make sure I am where I think I am. I am at the hub, yes I am, okay. Uh, so let's hit the squad button. And the squad is going to be, um, I don't know, first squad, uh, main. And what's our faction? Faction is uh, nameless, I'm fine with that. Usens. Usens. I cannot type and look around the microphone. That's the only bad usens. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't think I want to change anything else. Uh, if we have a group, I do want to make sure the group runs at the same speed. We have a thousand credits to our name. And we're inside a place called the hub. And in the hub, there is a bar somewhere. If I tap on the alt, there's the bar right there. Okay, but the first thing that we can do, there's a little building here. Ah, this building right here. So I'm going to, uh, let's start uh, regular speed for now. And you right click to go places. And you're going to see me struggling with the camera work. Um, there we go. And I guess what I can do is I can double tap one and it locks to me. So let's open this door and go ahead and go in there and then close the door. All right, now we go down in here and there's this. Now if we get caught, that's no good, but nobody ever comes in here. So I'm gonna unlock this chest. Hold down Alt key to pick the lock, pick it. And then I'm going to speed up the game because this is gonna take a while, but our lock picking skills are increasing. How do I look at the skills? Uh, skills, 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 skills. The goal is lock picking. The skills going up. How do I look at the skills? Okay, I, I lock picked it. So let's open it up, and this will be considered stealing. That's okay. There's all these Luden's reports that I don't think are worth any money. I'm not going to pick them up. They're unique books. They may actually be for researching. I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to steal all this stuff. And might as well steal the rum. And these are just research books. I think let's let's take three of these. Okay, I'll take them all because I'm stealing. What's this up here? The Holy Flame. So there is randomized loot on Startup. The Holy Flame is a book and fuel. Uh, man, my, I must be completely overburdened now. All right, there's some fuel up there. I can sleep here too, but I've basically stolen all this stuff. Whoa, slow the game down. What's this? A food, a food cube? I can't pick that up. The Holy Flame. Religious book of the Holy Nation. Every citizen has to have one by law. Yep, drop it. Alright, pick up the food cube and the water jug. No, a cup. I could potentially sell the cup, so I'll pick it up. And is there anything over here I want? What is this? Saki? I can't pick that up. Really? Really? It's bigger than it looks. Raw meat? Is it fresh? Uh, raw meat, possibly editable. Only for Scorchlander, Hive, Soldier Drone, Have Work, Hive Worker Drone, blah, 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 blah. Also edible for animals. I'll see if I can sell it. I'm not sure. The Holy Flame, water, more fuel. Well, I can't carry anything else. I might be encumbered. I don't know. Anyway, I was never here. If anybody asks, I deny it. Let's go out. Let's go down. See, there's the camera. There's the crazy camera. As soon as I walk out of the building, close the door. Double tap the one key, which locks to my character. Find the bar, which is over here. And so I want to go right out here. And let's see, I think speed, yeah, F2, F4, super fast. Wow, I got there in a hurry, okay. Let's go into the bar. All right, now another trick here is that if I just want to talk to the bartender and click on him, I'm going to walk all the way around. But instead, if I walk up to the front of the bar, like so, then I can talk to this person. Let's trade. All right, so here's what I got. It says they know it's stolen goods. They don't have a problem with it. Um, they're going to pay me uh, 218 for it, so I sell it. 
The food cube is food. Um, I'm going to keep that. The sticks are stolen, no problem. Uh, the value is 132. Might as well keep that. The cup is stolen goods. Uh, it doesn't have a very big sell value. What's this? Stolen goods. Yeah, this is all pretty cheap stuff. Fuel. Uh, fuel is what keeps everything running. You need it for your generators. I don't have any generators. How about the meat? Sell value 27. Well, it's better than nothing. Another cup. Uh, fabric. Uh, sell value 34. And uh, two sticks. Water cactus. Best you can do, nothing but cactuses. It says no. Okay, and we're going to keep... Um, actually, I just arranged this stuff. And you don't pay for this. This is research book, so you don't pay for this. And do you have anything that I want? Not much of anything um, that I really want. So what I'm going to do here... Let's see if I can do this again. There might be random people here. I can talk to you, though. So I'm going to quick save... And let's see what, if I remember what I did here. I talked to this guy. I can get kidneys, spleens, limbs, whatever you want. All working and tested. Best quality only. Uh, tested? How do you test organs? Only with the best scientific equipment. That's how. I give these kidneys to my own mother if she was still alive. Or can bless her bones. Uh, I'll pass, thanks. It wasn't you. Was it you? Ever need anything? No. Wasn't you. Was it you? The fuck you looking at, eh? Uh, I was just uh, admiring your sword. I just wanted to buy you a drink. I'm sorry I meant no offense. Ooh, this is new. I'm sorry I meant no offense. Then hurry up and get out of my face. Right, how's who are you? Hobbs, have a drink on me. All right, um... I can recruit this guy. I'm going to go. No, what's it about? Well, legend has it that it dwells in a sunken cave south of the dunes. I hear it has bones made of solid diamond. Okay, I'm not going to be a reader for this. But basically, he's got a story, and I'm going to be interested in the story. That sounds amazing. How do I find it? Uh, I will grant your wish, old man. Join me in search of this beast. Okay, Hobbs is now a member of our... Where are you running to, dude? He is now a, a member... And I'm going to set him to passive. I want to be very careful here. And I'm going to set me to passive. I'm going to turn off ranged. And these guys are running around fighting. All right. I'm going to talk to this guy again. Uh, yeah, I got a problem with that ugly face. Oh, you're so mean. Sobbing. <laughs> All right. Everybody out. They started it. I didn't start it. Everybody out. Get out. Let's get out. Let's just let them. There, see? We're passive and everything. And we're just going to watch. It was their fault. I didn't start it. Now, see, the guards are immediately on them. All right? And they're going to knock them out. And then we're going to loot them. Like this guy. Actually, I don't want Hobbs. Hobbs is not the main guy. So I think if I select me next... I guess Hobbs was the closest. Uh, you've got a nice changed shirt. Did you see that guy fly up in the air when they threw him out? That's that's what we're talking about. Um, and you got a nice hat. I've, you already got something on your head. So put it in your inventory. Put that armor in your inventory. This is Hobbs, right? It's Hobbs, right? And uh, put that weapon in your inventory. So basically, I'm looting this guy. What are these pants? Worn out shirts. Shorts, cloth shirt, sell value 56. I'm not even going to bother with that. All right. And then um, Tola will look at this guy. And uh, he's got something on his head. He's got a drifter's leather jacket. He's got some boots. Ragged pants, worthless. And he's also got a wakasashi. Uh, so, yeah, we're getting stuff right away from these people that got thrown out. Okay, now somebody else got thrown out, and they uh, clipped somewhere. Where did they get thrown out at? Did they end up on top of the building? They did. So, up we go. Uh, I guess that doesn't work. Up we go. 
Yeah, this is kind of the physics problems, but... Uh, Alright, what do we got? You got some armor. Um, yeah, you got this stuff going on. Head. Boots. How about we give this armor to Hobbs? No room for that item to Tola, because Hobbs must be the one that's talking. And Tola. And Tola. Perfect. So now I got stuff. And nobody cares. And this guy's naked. And is he dead? Unconscious. How to do bounties. Does this guy have a bounty? Uh, bar thug. Yeah, he's heard pretty bad. Hello. Hi. How you doing? We're at leaving. I think. Yeah, here we go. Okay, now, let's, uh, I'm okay. We're both okay. We didn't get hit. No, I got slashed in the stomach, and it's slowly hurting me, and it needs bandaged. Okay, so I'm not going to speed it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the next town to get a bandage, because we don't have any bandages. Um, so this is what I had to do last time. So if we go to the map, I need to run to Squin. So we're on our way. Um, and I have the group mode set to run at the slowest speed, make sure we run together. And now, oh geez, hold on a minute. Yeah, you gotta be careful, gotta be careful how I click. Group up. Alright, go back to the map. We're going to here. And I just want to look around. Or is it control? Yeah, you can hold control and do this too. And I want to make sure we don't run into any bad guys. Because I'm going to have to get bandages. This other town has... Uh, it's not a backpack vendor. It's an adventuring vendor, I think is the name of it. How to do bounties. I don't need any help. But I want to make sure we don't get ganked here. Uh, let's look at the map. Uh, we're about a quarter of the way there. And we're on ludicrous speed. And the loading can be a problem. It kind of lags when it loads. As it loads the new scenery. I'm looking around. So far, it's clear. What is the, What are these things? It says I can't do anything with them. It's interesting. Right, and we go down. Loading again. I guess I could I could slow it down while we're loading. Yeah, there's there's pretty big pauses here while it loads in. So there's the town. I'd say we're almost in the clear. But anyway, it's all about scavenging. Any any reason you're not following the road there, guys? And uh, with the bar fight, we, we were able to scavenge. Okay, F1's tutorials. We're on, on regular speed now. So let's get up in town here. Flat skin disdain. More outsiders. Okay, you're going to want to search us. Smuggling checks. Show them your gear. We're good. You may pass, of course. I'm not smuggling anything. Uh, now let's see here. I'm looking for... Hold down the Alt key. I'm looking for the Adventurers Guild. Uh, where is the Adventurers? Not Adventurers Guild. It has... Yeah, it's difficult to see. Now, I think I mentioned I had two mods loaded. One of them is the dark interface, and the other is the night vision, which makes darkness not as dark as normal. All right, I'm having a hard time seeing anything. This looks like the weapons vendor. Oh, this is it right here. No, that's the armor vendor. Come here, guys. I'll find it. Where are you guys? There you are. Come come here. That's the armor vendor. There's the bar. 
like I said, this camera work can get pretty dicey. Is this someplace or not? I don't think so. There's the bar, and then what's this place? This is nothing. I thought it was up here. There it is, right here. Good. But it's closed up for the night. Ah, that's new. I forgot that place is closed. All right. So let's go to the bar, because the bar is not going to be closed. No. Let's hang out at the bar. All right. The bar is open all night, I'm sure. Hey, man. Here to buy? Show me what you got. All right. Uh... So I'm not the one that's bleeding, it's Hobbs that needs to be healed. Alright, I can, uh, this is not stolen, so I can sell the rum. No room for the, oh, uh, no, I'm not selling, let's, let's get, it, get it together here, get it together, hold on. Close, inventory. What do I want to sell? I'm wearing crappy pants, I'm wearing a drifter's leather jacket. Hobbs has better stuff than me though, right. He's got the black rag shirt, a black and chain shirt. Give that, give that to me. Cargo pants, sneaky chain. I'm all about sneaky chain. Not enough room. All right, go to Tola, and uh, let's see. What do we want to do? What do I? What am I wearing? These are plated long boots, standard grade. Stealth effects is a negative 0.31. Athletic is negative 0.9, so I don't want to wear those. And what is this? Rag shirt, standard grade. I want to sell that. So I'm going to talk to this guy. I'm here to trade. Uh, I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell this. Uh, I'm not going to sell my food. Okay, now I have room. I've got the chain shirt. I got the nice weapons. All right, and now Hobbs, um, you're gonna talk. You're going to sell the black rag shirt, shoddy grade. That's worth twenty six. I'm gonna sell it, but I the cargo pants I want. You can sell this black and chain shirt, half pants, sneaky chain, boots. These are plated long boots. I really like the other boots. I guess we'll wear those for now, even though it slows us down. This is good for dust storms. Cargo pants I want to give to Tola. He should have room now. On your head, you have a straw hat, acid 40%. Uh, iron hat, 35%. You're going to keep that hat. Let me give this hat to Tola. And then this turban is good for dust storms, but do I really want to keep it around? All right, and then told. Oh, we can both talk to him. How silly. Buyback, shoddy grade, black rag shirt. All right, cargo pants, sneaky chain. Put them on. And what are these? Rag loincloth. Yeah, just sell it. And then for head, I've currently got a bucket zukan, shoddy grade. It's chain. Uh, it is. Where's the resistance to dust storms go? Oh, it does probably not. Acid, 35%. Doesn't have any acid resistance. Head coverage, 85%. Uh, do I want to wear the, metal, the iron hat? Weather protections. Some crazy dude at this point must have thought, I like hats, but I don't like helmets. But I also like having sword-resistant head. Now we have iron hats. Uh, it doesn't... Perception bonus, plus four. All right, yeah. I'm going to wear this on my head, and this doesn't, it's chain. It's chain mail, and it doesn't have any resistance to dust storms. Uh, heavy armor grade, head 85%, head 70%. I'm just going to sell this because it's worth, what, 125 Fine. Yeah. And are you going to keep this for the dust storm value of 70%? I'm going to keep that for now. Okay. And what time is it? Um, so Hobbs, your stomach is slowly getting worse. I am uninjured. You got a good cut on the stomach. We have to wait till morning. 
Uh, let's go upstairs and grab a cot. Both of us, please. Get upstairs. Now, when you go to sleep on these cots, it'll automatically charge you a pretty small amount. So, Hobbs, you uh, go to sleep. And what did it charge us? Uh, paid 100 copper, right? And uh, Tola... Um, I don't have a medical... I don't have a medical kit. First aid? I don't have a med kit, right? So go ahead and sleep here. Okay, 100. Let's speed up the game and wait till daylight. Wait impatiently for daylight. Three, four. I wonder what time shops open. Faster would be better. Anyway, if we look at Hobbs, uh, his stomach is slowly getting worse. It's not too bad, and it's something that a uh, encumbrance nine percent, forty nine percent. I'm really weighted down. I've got to build my strength, uh, and we're still passive. I got to remember that it's four a.m. But you're healing in a bed. Now, the other thing about medical kits is they have a lot of uses, like 400 uses, and they don't cost that much. I went in and I bought like a bunch of kits thinking they were one use, and yeah, that's a total waste of money. So here's 5 a.m., and uh, where is that Adventurer's Guild thing? It's right over here, right? Yes, it's you. So I just have to watch to when this door opens. 16% chance to lockpick the thing. Yeah, let's not do that. There we go. Alright, so double click one, and we're upstairs. And uh, let's shift click both of us and get up. And get downstairs. And get over to. Whoa. Like I said, the camera work is going to be sketchy. Get over to the adventurer's shop. Does it actually have a name? Travel gear. Let's get inside. Speed it up a little bit because I'm tired of waiting. All right. Why is Tola running so slow? You guys are supposed to run the same speed. What's going on? All right, let's get inside. No, don't close the door. Come in, have a browse, right? Uh, there we go. It's stuck, got stuck on the floor, apparently. Uh, so let's come up here. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Let's trade. You have medical kits. They are a thousand charges, quality a hundred, and the average price is two sixty-five. I want one, two of them. And I will give one to Hobbs. Hobbs doesn't have any room. I am Hobbs. I'll give one to Tola. Okay. And you have sleeping bags. Mm. Do I want a sleeping bag? What else do you have? I don't know what I want. You have a small backpack. Encumbered production 50%. Combat minus 2 Large backpack, combat skill bonus minus five, uh, sell value. How much are you charging now? You're charging 1500, you're charging a thousand. No, I don't have that kind of money. As a matter of fact, I only have 1358 left. And how much is a sleeping bag? 605. This is good for resting. I'm going to attempt to do without it. And uh, then what we can do is Hobbs needs treatment. Tola, I gave you a medical kit, right? Yeah. So I'm going to right click and say, actually, I'm going to shift click, right click, shift, first aid, and then because I shift clicked, medic is now my Id an idle job. So I will automatically try to patch people up if they need it. And the same with Hobbs. Um, Shift click, except I can't get it. How about medic? Can I just assign you a medic job? Shift click medic. Okay, yeah. So these are kind of the job. I guess they put these buttons here so you can assign jobs when um, 
yeah, there's no there's nobody that needs it. So now Hobbs is healed up. His stomach is now in the process of healing, so that's good. And uh, let's uh, get out of here. Basic first aid kit. See, we can steal this stuff, but we don't want to. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, let's select both of us and get out of here. All right, so we're at 30 minutes. So that uh, is the beginning of Kenshi. Um, like I said, I'll put some links to some tutorials in the description if you're interested. Um, it's not on sale right now. It's a full $30. I bought it through Humble, which gives me a, just 10% off because I'm a Humble bundle subscriber or something or other. But um, yeah, basically paid full price for it. And it's new, so I doubt it's going to go on sale anytime soon. But you never know. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.